Well, no, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I got this. Uh, no, I'm just about to pick, they picked up the body. Oh, yes. Uh, she kept calling me uh, just about every day in the morning because she knew that I went out. And then I got a call. It was her, her sister told me that they had, that she had committed suicide. Uh, and I said, what? Well, they found her dead. We don't know what's happened. So the police went over. They picked up the body and threw all her belongings like you see them in that picture. Uh, with her ID, I got her ID there. I got everything that uh, that, that she left there. Her dog, when I saw her dog, right away, I recognized her because she used to go to sleep with that dog when she was staying in my place. And when I saw it there, I picked it up. And then that's when I found that uh, at that time I hadn't known that she had made a poem to her doll. So I found all those in, the, in, in papers that she had. Some of those papers were damp, the way that I got a hold of them. So I took all those papers that they had. Police had just left there, you know, just throw everything away, all her belongings, just picked up the body and took her, and took her body. So uh, I went and gave, uh, her mother lived in, uh, in uh, was it Palo Verde? No, it's uh, El Sorino. And I went out there with that doll and gave the doll to her mother. It was, believe it or not, it was the last house on top of that hill. As El Sereno in Spanish is, El Sereno is, is high places. And I knocked and uh, I, nobody would come out. And uh, finally she came out and I said, look, I got your daughter's doll here. So that doll, I gave, I gave her back to her mother. But she did make a poem to her doll. And uh, that'll show a two on it. 